Good afternoon, all traders. It is uh, 2.56 p.m. here on the East Coast on October 24th. It's Tuesday, and we've got just over an hour left in trading, but it looks, for the most part, like we're done. Um, <clears throat> settling in at about 52.45 right now. We haven't really moved out of this 10 cent, 15 cent range for, uh, well, most of the day. Basically, what happened is, uh, into the morning, we basically started to fall ahead of the European closing, um, and immediately following that closing, we went straight back up and uh, actually went even higher than we were before. So contradicting what the Asians felt um, and uh, Europeans felt was happening. Um, in Asian trading, we went low. In European trading, prior to the close, we went low. And, but uh, apparently the bulls are still in charge, so we'll see. Um, of course, we've got e, um, API news tonight at 4.30 and EIA news tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So clearly, this kind of lack of movement in the past, uh, let me uh, drill in here for you guys. If we zoom out to the five minute increment, you can see here that basically um, after the climb back up following European closing, we settled in at about this 52.45 range and we just haven't moved from this 10 cent range. So um, yeah, when uh, when we hit uh, 52.53, that was the high. Actually, we initially hit 52.52. Um, I decided that it was a good enough gap over my 52.24 position to add to my short positions, um, which is what I did. I just uh, purchased a very, very, very small position, even smaller than yesterday's. Yesterday's was a 6% weighting on the portfolio. Today's is just 4%. Um, so I'm being uh, very, very cautious with my buys um, in case we do go higher, but still buying um, so as to give myself some options if we do fall. Basically by doing this kind of um, averaging down in terms of my cost, it, it creates opportunities for me to exit multiple positions if we do have a significant drop. Um, so yeah, that, that was my logic. We'll see if it pans out. As to why this um, bullishness persists, your guess is as good as mine. There's contradictory information about OPEC's cuts. Um, will they cut? Won't they cut? Will they stick to what they say they will do? Um, similarly about Iraq's output, yesterday they said that they were um, increasing output, or excuse me, uh, not, not uh, delivering as much. And today his information is uh, in 180 degrees from that, saying that output has actually gone up. So who knows? Um, basically, I'm just going to stick to my guns and bet against this bullishness for the time being. So my uh, targets remain unchanged. If we do fall, I'm going to look at 51.40 or so in order to exit um, three or more positions now um, with this buy today. And uh, looking at entering a long position as we approach 51, but I may need to be more aggressive than that. Um, considering the bullishness that we're seeing. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully we get a good healthy pullback, um, even if it's just profit taking by the bulls, um, and it'll create some opportunities for me and the bears. But uh, I guess it's just waiting now and see what happens at 4.30 today and 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time and go with whatever it is that we get. Um, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, vers results, performance, etc., etc. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys following today's news and ahead of tomorrow's trading at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers. Yeah.